recently we did an episode on conserving this 1916 Mauser and the muzzle was screwed up and I mean really really screwed up this thing was it, it, it had it was 30 thousandths undersize as you can see in this picture here um, there was no way we were going to shoot this there was no amount of filing or stoning or anything that was going to make this muzzle right so we went ahead and did what's called a counter bore and put a new we put a new um, uh, crown right about the thickness of my finger back now that was achievable because the rest of the bore was cherry whenever you're looking at a mill surf or any gun for that matter you buy the barrel all right the the barrel has to be right. The barrel is the one thing you cannot fix whenever you're running one of these. Now we were able to do that without bulging the barrel, creating back pressure, easy extraction. This gun runs great now. But it wasn't going to run good before. So everybody that had all the agita about the fact, oh my God, I've ruined this priceless collectible. No, I haven't. You couldn't shoot it before. And if you had shot it, you'd have bulged the barrel right behind the front sight, or worse, it would have blown up in your hands. So why bother doing that? We did a counter bore. And this is kind of what it took to do it. We didn't make the decision to screw the muzzle on this gun up, but we're going to have to be the ones that are probably going to get out of it. There are, there is rust going back to darn near the middle of this sight tower. The barrel is under dimension, and if you were to stick a drill bit in there, it will follow whatever center line it feels like following. This is going to get clamped in a lathe. We're going to take a carbide end mill and sort and try to find the center line of this bore. And then we're going to peel a couple of thousands more out in order to get all of this undersize out of the way. All of this rust, this is not good. The rust is not good. And let me try to light this a little more ambitiously here. A little more aggressively lit now and you can see how undersized this bore is. This is not good. So we've got to try to find the center now. If, if I have been unable to figure out how to show where the hole here is in relationship to the actual back bore. Um, but what we're going to do is put this thing up on a lathe and try to find the center line of this. You cannot shoot the gun with the muzzle in this configuration. And I got a lot of people that are screaming at me, oh dear God, don't ruin that priceless Mauser. Look, we didn't make the decision to ruin this gun. It was made for us. You cannot shoot it like this, and since the gun cannot be shot, what the heck good is it? So the first step is to hang this thing in the lathe. And there you can see the long of his ear right where his hand is. And in the four-jaw chuck, we'll run it around until it runs basically true in the back. We have it stuck into the tail stock. And now we've got it up in the head here, and we'll run it around until we get it Stir it out, you can see the dial indicator there, and we're just gonna get the back end close. Because the back end's gonna move around a little bit later, because if you think the center line of the bore of this thing is concentric to the OD of this barrel, you're crazy. This thing's gonna be jumping around like a pool noodle by the time we get it done. Let me just walk around and move the, um, move the jaws around until we can get that indicator to kind of stay centered. And that's pretty good, actually, as they go. Yeah, it's not bouncing around too much. Three thousand. That'll, yeah, three thousand. That'll well, change. Well, we know it's gonna move. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We know we're gonna have to come back here and do it again. Yeah. Okay. So now, as he spins it, you can actually watch the barrel hula hoop here. You see how it's going up, down, up, down. There's a small hula hoop to it. Um, but that'll all come out here. We'll we'll um, we'll pull it up. We're gonna put the, the steady center, steady rest on it. 
So this little gizmo is called a steady rest. And what that's gonna let us do is that's gonna allow us to take the uh, tailstock out. Now, this is just an approximation because the crown on this thing is so futzed up. We really don't know where the center line of the bore is yet. So we're just kind of playing by ear. So what we'll do, we'll come in within about a thousandth of an inch and we'll touch off here. And once we, uh, once we touch off here on the barrel, we can pull this center out and that should run true, but it won't. Now the true center would be to put a, put a spud up in here and then adjust the rear end back there until this ran true, so. That's a thou thick? Yes. Okay. And that lets us get pretty close without damaging the barrel. Very good. Now we're gonna select a drill bit that's about the size of the bore. And we're just gonna get as close as we can. We still don't know whether or not the rust is gonna bias this thing up, down, left, right, or whether or not the drill bit will be going around. But what we really wanna know is, is what is the center line of the bore doing? So that is sticking out right there and we'll put an indicator on that and we'll see what the center line of the bore is actually doing. So we'll come down on that on that spud right there and we'll set zero. And now this is what the center line of the bore is doing. So even though we had that, that rest sticking in the end of the barrel, yeah, the barrel's moving around a little bit. We gotta clean that up. And where that is gonna get cleaned up is back here. And we'll wind up, now you gotta remember now we got a pivot point here. So if we go down there, this end goes up. See, now that's starting to zero up. Of course, everything's backwards here because you have a fulcrum. So it's a little mind bending here. We're pretty damn close to having the bore running straight. And I don't care what the outside of the gun's doing. I need the bore to be running straight. And we have that drill bit stuck probably down, it's down to about here. So we got a pretty good idea. We got the, we actually got the center line of the bore. And now we're almost there. And what's gonna be crazy is how much the rear end of this thing is walking around. That runs about 3,000. Pretty damn close. I think close enough for what we're doing. I think so. You got to consider we're removing all that rust. Very good. So that's the setup. All right, you light it up and let it let it spin. It's been kind of cold here in South Carolina, so we're gonna let this thing run for a couple of seconds just to get the lube oil slathered all over everything. Actually, surprisingly, this is running pretty damn straight. Yeah, okay. So, you see how it's bouncing up and down here? That's what we had to do. We had it running straight right there, and now it's up and down in order to make the inside of the muzzle run, uh, run true. And now the inside of the muzzle is running true. And sometimes you can see the outside of hula hoop around a little bit, but that's pretty much the idea. The outside of the muzzle moving around a little bit, but the bore is running straight. <laughs> the drill bit isn't. We've slowed the machine down now as slow as it'll go. It's about 40 RPM, I think. Yeah, about 40 RPM. And this reamer is about five thousandths of an inch bigger than the lands. And what this will let us do is just 
peel the lands off and leave the bottoms of the grooves, and that's what we're looking at. We may not get it all. We've got actually got a line drawn on this reamer to tell us there's a line drawn right there. You see that Sharpie marker line? Did not go any deeper than that because we don't have a we don't have digitals on the um, on the tailstock. Okay, let's take a look at the schmutz loading. See, we didn't move that much. Well, let me get a focus here. I don't know why that's not letting me focus. There we go. So as you can see here, we've only taken back just to the edge of the right flank, but now we do not have a bore obstruction. This is where we're going at. That's a counter bore right there. 